What's up guys, Tech Tony here. Now, as promised, I'm going to show you guys how to look your companies up, how to Google yourself. Because just going to Google, pulling it up on your phone, on your, on your significant other phones, an employee's phone, friends, coworkers, whoever you're doing is not the right way to look yourself up online. You need, there are steps and processes in order to see exactly or have a better idea on how your company just shows up online. Are you even showing up? Now, there is a companionship podcast with this video, which I linked down below in the description, so that you can also listen to this podcast, get a little bit more information on how search works, and then watch this video on how you show up online. And it's step-by-step. Step. So first of all, I'm going to show you some pretty standard stuff on just Google search. So if you want to follow along, go ahead and pause this video and open up a new tab. I'm going to tell you what you need. You're going to need a Google search tab. You're going to need Google Analytics. You're going to need access to your Google search console. And if you have Google Ads, then I'm going to show you a few things there as well. Now, pause this video and open up those accounts. If you can't open up those accounts or you don't have access to them or you have no idea what I'm talking about, then that alone is going to be a huge, huge problem. These are accounts, Google Analytics, Google Search Console, Google Ads, that you're supposed to have as a business owner in-house and then you delegate the access to those that need to do their job for whatever reason. Even if you have a marketer in-house, they shouldn't be using the admin login information. They shouldn't even have that. They should have a company email associated to what they need to do so that they have access to what certain parts, whatever aspects they need to do their job. So first of all, if you can't find that information, you're probably gonna need to reach out to me. We're gonna need to do some house cleaning before moving forward. All right, so let's just say for whatever reason you don't have analytics you don't have search console you just kind of just got a website and it's been there for a while it's just there let's just do the bare basics of what you're going to need when you're doing a search online so uh, check this out very simple you're going to want to type in into google search s-i-t-e that right there so this tells Google you're looking for something very specific, which is your website. How do you show up online? It's gonna show you a few different things. So for example, we're gonna do the Dolphin Law Group, which they don't have Google Analytics on the website. So I wanted to show you this if you were, when one of those companies aren't doing it right, which they're not. You're gonna wanna copy your URL No spaces, no WW, just as you see it. And then hit enter. All right, so you're gonna see a few things. Let me move my head over here. You're gonna see a few things. This is their website on how it's viewed by the internet and how it's indexed. Remember, indexing means what parts of my website has Google crawled and viewed and then what order of importance does Google think these parts of my website are? So we got what looks like their homepage. We'll just click there. Okay, that's the homepage, pretty standard. And then Google has deemed their FAQ the second most important part of the website, which isn't good, it's not bad. I've seen worse. Uh, you're probably gonna want like an about us page or a contact us page. Why are there no pictures of the attorneys here? Anyways, I'm not gonna rip this website apart. Airway doesn't have analytics as it is. So, our attorneys, good, good. So we have about us and we have our attorneys, okay. Not bad. So it's ranking fairly okay if we're not like really doing anything, which is far and few in between. Personal injury, criminal defense, and then the about us again. Um, don't know why that's there. Then finally, a get in touch page. I would deem this fair. Uh, definitely work to be done, 
But this is how you're going to view. Okay, this is how you're going to view when you sit down and you type this and hit enter. But like, okay, what does the internet see? And what does it dictate is important. If you see some issues, primarily in a perfect world, in theory, you should have a home page. That should definitely be ranking number one on Google for what you need. Next should be either a service page, deeming your most important service that you offer. Because when you get services, you don't want to get carried away. I definitely recommend your services be your top three services and then additional service page. And as you grow as a business, you can add additional service pages. Because if you just have a ridiculously huge website, especially when you're starting out new, or you don't have a properly formatted site and you're redoing it, Google's not going to know what to crawl. And it's not going to know what's important. And it's just going to start just doing random crap on your website. So a home page. An about us page or a service page. Those should be your top three. Almost good. Um, I see this. So a little bit of confusion which could be happening here is that you have an about us page and then our attorneys page. Primarily those should be one page as well. Um, they have their personal and criminal defense up here, which is okay, but it's not deemed a service page. What I mean by that is when someone comes here or when Google's crawling it, up here i hope you can see it is what's called a pathway so it's dozenlawgroup.com backslash what's next a properly built website is going to be dot com backslash service backslash personal injury because we're telling google this is our service uh, there's even some other different types of coding that you can navigate into your website which definitely show google what's important and what isn't they're called metabots you can't tell Google, hey, pay attention to this part of our website, but don't pay attention to this. This is especially useful if you're using a uh, specific uh, landing pages for paid traffic. But anyways, I'm going off on a tangent here. That would definitely help label and help Google understand, oh, this is a particular service. They should probably rank a specific way for this. Not bad. I've seen worse. Definitely a lot of house cleaning to do. All right. So what could definitely help with part two? All right, this is your Google Search Console. This is everything, this is pretty much everything SEO and web development on this console. This is very important. So your web developer should be able to translate what's on here. If not, we got some problems. If you're doing any form of SEO, on-site SEO, off-site SEO, technical SEO, this is going to be pretty much your baseline foundation of a starting point and where you want to be goal wise. Now, I can do a whole series on this on, um, on each of these platforms by itself. What I'm showing you my goal in this YouTube video is just to give you the baseline foundation, not to confuse you so you can get in here, take a quick look and have an idea of what's happening. So. If you have access to your search console, great. If you don't, hit me up. We can set this up. It's not a free service, though. So when you get here, you're going to pay attention to pretty much just one area quickly. And it's this. It says performance. So you have some stuff going on here. I know it looks like a lot. It looks like a lot. Don't worry. I'm going to narrow this down for you what to pay attention to. But you have... Um, some dates which you can change you can cut some customize the dates and you have what's called total clicks and total impressions for right now I want you to pay attention to these two at a later point I'll explain everything else in a different video so make sure you're following me so you don't miss that information you're going to scroll down once again move my head you're going to scroll down there's a lot of information here uh, one of 10 of 43, but we're just going to pay attention to this. What this is our query. This means, this means somebody went to a Google search, mobile, cell phone, tablet, whatever it may be. They type something in and they hit enter and it could be your business name or the product, goods and service that you should be showing up for organically so the company name so someone top queries biz pad biz office space for rent and dothan and what you're going to see a little bit this way are clicks and impressions it's just that's by default you should be seeing this what this says is 
this is how many clicks this search got and how in the last three months it showed up seven times organically now i told you it wasn't going to make this any harder but scroll back up and click right here where it says average position scroll down you got an extra um section that showed up essentially position what does this mean this tells me where on google search you showed up for so pretty much this is once again do lawyers in Dothan, Alabama. So on a search, you would have ads that would show up up here. You would have ads that show up in the map as well. And then you have your organic listings, which is the map pack. And we're going to go over this a little later as well. Now, when you scroll down, whoops, when you scroll down, this is your organic listing. This is your SEO, your on-site, off-site, technical, technical SEO, all working to get you listed on there. So when it says position 1.3 or 5.3 or down here, like it says position 86, which is definitely not page one of Google. This is page, this is position one, two, three, four, so on and so forth on Google search. So in the search console, all this has to do with everything underneath the ads, everything underneath the map pack, and everything else down here. Now, I don't know if you noticed recently, but there's really no like back in the day, right there, a couple years ago, at the bottom, you would have page one, two, three, four. That doesn't really exist anymore. Now you could just like, infinitely scroll and just kind of keep going and ads will show up randomly more results so that's why you see on your search console position 5.389 you can continue on and you can just check out one 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 and keep going so forth and show on and how many clicks you get out of it and how many people see it an impression means they saw it they didn't do anything they didn't click on it just you showed up and someone looked at you that was it all right, so that was it for the SEO side of things. Now, this is a little bit SEO, a little bit paid ads, but this is the primary thing that you need to be paying attention to when you're doing research on how your company shows up online. Now, you've heard me talk about this a lot, and if you don't have this, you're just seriously damaging yourself. If you're not paying attention to and editing it, you're just seriously damaging yourself. This is your Google My Business Listing, a.k.a. Google Maps. So, whoop this stuff right here that is it this is what we're concentrating on do you show up in the map and do you show up properly and effectively and as always there's a lot to go over here i have other tutorials on this on youtube and on my TikTok channel but as things progress like everything with google they change stuff i'll be updating as usual but so you don't get overwhelmed i'm going to show you the bare basics so do you show up online do you show up on the map step one when you pull up your your listing is that you're going to look right here, this fun filled little number. If you don't have any numbers, you ain't showing up for shit. But this company is showing up 220 times. So guess what? You can click on that. Go ahead and give that a click. So there's a time period here on what you can, sh on what you can show. Um, 220 times business interactions what that means is phone calls they went to your website they clicked something something happened and they did and they act, interacted with your company online and remember that all this is just this that is it this stuff right here that's it whether it's on a desktop mobile phone the app itself that's all we're concentrating on If you scroll down a little bit more, you're going to see people viewed your business profile, 442 people. All this is based off this time period that you can set however you want. And it's pretty strong. Check this out. Mobile, to no surprise, is going to be number one. It's going to be number one for pretty much any business. What that means is your web developer better have a really good mobile version of your company or you're going to suffer. 
This part right here are searches. Just like in your Google Search Console when it goes to queries, these are queries that someone typed that you showed up on the map for. Your products, your goods, your services, the name of your business, where you're at type of situation. That's what this is. It's very simple to look at. This is the baseline foundation of your company's reputation online and should be taken excessively seriously as well. All right, the next area, and the reason I'm giving you all this, that you can cross-check your information and make sure what you're seeing is proper. You can cross-check your analytics, your ads, your SEO to make sure whatever they're telling you or showing you is actually correct. Because believe it or not, I've seen marketing companies doctor the numbers just to make themselves look better. And sadly, these businesses have just been taken at face value and trusting them and just throwing money against the wall and getting nothing in return. So this is your Google Analytics account, and this is the most valuable piece of information your company has when it comes to your online assets. And as usual, this looks extremely overwhelming, and I understand it. I get data fatigue staring at this, and this is literally my job. So I have other, as usual, I keep my information up to date. I have TikTok videos and other YouTube tutorials about this, which I'll be continually updating as this changes. But let's just, this is the home page. This is one spot I want you to look at. One piece of this for like two minutes it'll take you. And that is right here, this tile. And this will show you, are you showing up in any way, shape, or form? This is everything. This is the map. This is your SEO. This is your ads. This is it. If you have a TikTok channel, whatever it be, as long as it's properly set up and properly tracking, any way, shape, or form you show up online, it's going to be here. So take a look at it. That's it. I've had the last seven days, 8,000 users, 2,000 of them, 3,000 of them have been new. And just depending on what type of business you are, you're going to have like revenue purchases, leads, conversions, whatever it may be. But primarily, you're going to be looking at that number right there. You're showing up somewhere. You should definitely find out where, but you're showing up. Hopefully, you're showing up properly. All right. Now, last but not least is your Google Ads dashboard. Now, if you're not running Google Ads, you probably don't need to pay attention to the rest of this. If you've been curious about it, this is something that could help you out. Now, as usual, there's a lot of information here. A lot. But I want you just to pay attention to just one particular area, and that's it. This is the home page of Google, of your Google Ads. As usual, update videos on TikTok, be updating longer form videos on YouTube, lots of training on this coming down the road for this year. But you just need to go to your home page and pretty much just pay attention to that number right there. Are you showing up? Now, you should see... Oh, there it is. You should see this number as well. Your impressions. Rem remember, an impression means they looked at you. They looked at your business. You showed up for something. They looked at your business, and that was it. So out of 2,037 impressions, they show th people, 239 people clicked on their ad. But if you're running ads, you want to see, am I showing up? What does If you're running ads... Look at that, and I'll show you that you're showing up. Now, everything else I'll teach you later on, but that's just the bare bone basics of being able to look your business up online. Now, I really hope you found this information helpful. Please stop just Googling yourself and seeing how you show up online. That's not how that works. Use, understand, and utilize these tools, this video, for the bare basics of being able to look up how you show up online, where are you showing up online a little bit? Just do I show up and a little bit of what am I showing up for? Remember to follow me on TikTok and here on YouTube or on the right platforms where I'll be continually educating you and showing you a little bit more in-depth detail on impressions, on clicks, on what conversions, events are, how to see the search terms you're showing up for in a little bit more detail. But until then, I hope you found this video helpful. Make sure you like and subscribe down below. 
and check out the show notes as well. And until then, happy marketing. Have yourself a great day.